everybody. So obviously this is all a bit new because um, this video is a vlog and I've never done a vlog before. So apologies in advance if this video is a little bit rusty but it's my first time vlogging so you know. I'm gonna make a few rookie errors I'm sure. But I thought I would vlog today because I've got a brand new camera that I really wanted to use and also today I'm doing something quite exciting so I wanted to take you all along with me. Back in June, I think, uh, whenever Father's Day was, I bought my dad a present which was um, like a assault course, like an army assault course. It's called the Major Series and it's just like a 10 to 12k run and you go through loads of obstacles like um, you have to crawl through mud and like go over like rope fences and loads of different things. I'm not really sure we haven't been yet obviously. So today is the day that we're doing the course and I'm not really sure of what to expect. I'm not very good at running <laughs> for long distances. I can run like for about five to ten minutes but I get so bored if I run for a long period of time. I need like distractions so I thought this would be a good one for me to do because the obstacles will be like a little distraction for me along the way but my dad's really good at running so he'll be completely fine um so yeah it's gonna be interesting i think but hopefully i'll be okay hopefully i won't be like the most unfit person there that would be bad <laughs> but you know who cares someone's got to come last so if we're last we're last I'm trying not to be bothered about it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my GoPro and then we're going to film some footage around the course and then kind of edit in, edit, edit it in to this video um, for you all to see. So hopefully that will look really good. So that's the plan for today and it's currently about half eight in the morning and our wave, like the t our start time is at 10 a.m. So we've got a while to go yet and the place isn't that far away. So... Yeah, I'm really excited actually. Like this is my first big like run. I've never ran like for more than, <laughs> I don't even know. I've probably never run for more than a mile. Um, but this is like 10 to 12K. So it's gonna be full on. I'm blatantly gonna die at the end of it. I just know it.
Okay, so we finally finished the course. It was so, so difficult. It was 12 kilometers of like hills and so much mud, like the most mud you will ever see in your life. But it was really, really fun as well. Like there were so many different obstacles and there was like some inflatable raft things that you had to like run over. And then there was like nets that you had to climb up and logs that you had to carry. There was so many different things. And my dad really liked it. He said that it was the best Father's Day present he'd ever had. So yeah, I'm his favorite daughter. We started the race at 10 and I think we got in at about quarter past 12. So it took about two hours, 15 minutes for us to finish it, which to be honest is good for me because I do not run. And to be honest, we didn't really run like loads of it. We did run some, but it's just the uphill running stuff that I can't do. I can't run uphill to save my life. So every time there was like a massive hill and some of the hills were like real steep, um, we just power walked those ones. But other than that, we did do pretty well. So I'm really happy with two hours and 15 minutes. That's the longest distance I've ever done like ever so I'm pretty proud of myself so as we crossed the finish line they gave us a goodie bag and a t-shirt I haven't actually seen this yet I got it in a large so that I could wear it to bed so it says the major series autumn 2015 oh, I really like that that's really cute oh my god the back is so cool it says no mud no glory and there was a lot of mud, oh my god. So that is very true to its word. We also got these little goodie bags in here. So I haven't actually had a look yet at what's in there. Also I've got some original potato chips, so some crisps. And then we've also got, oh, what's this? This is innocent bubbles, fruit and spring water, lemon, lime and apple. Hmm, lovely. And we've also got some urban fruit mango. I'm guessing that's just dried mango. What else do we have? Oh, what is this? Oh, it's porridge, I think. All right, let's see. It says, Mama, the awesome OT range. So I'm guessing it's like a free sample. Yeah, porridge, plain, no added sugar. I'll give that to my mum. She loves porridge. I'm not the biggest fan. Oh, it's gluten free as well. And then what else? The last thing. Cooling finish lotion. Excellent. Well, I'm pretty cold, so I don't think I'm going to use this, but it's not, you know, nice to have as a freebie. So that's cute, all my little freebies here. And I also got, before I forget, I've got my finishing medal, which is so cool because it's like a dog tag. I love this. It's like such a good idea for a medal. And I think this is a key ring as well, so I'm totally going to take this bit off and put it on my keys because I am a bit of a key ring hoarder. So uh, yeah, I'm going to do that now, actually. There it is, it's added to my collection of key rings now. I think it looks right at home in there. So yeah, I've had a really, really good day. It was really nice to like get out of the house on a Saturday, although we had to wake up really early. It was worth it just, you know, to get out. It was nice to have some fresh air. Like I feel like I'm always inside, like in front of a screen a lot of the time. So it was nice to like go out into the countryside and just, you know, have a bit of a run around. So now I think I'm gonna have a really nice long shower because I really, really need one because I absolutely stink. So I've just come out of the shower and I feel so much better now. I was so dirty. I didn't realise how dirty I was. Like, I thought I'd got most of it off before I got in the car. But just having that shower, which took about an hour, I couldn't believe, like, how dirty I actually was. The water just wasn't running clear. Like, it just kept going. Like, it was like a constant, like, mud stream. And then it finally started running clear after like an hour. So I was in the shower for so, so long. But I feel so much better now. Oh my God, I really need a nap though. So I think I'm gonna like try and get changed. I'm so achy, I feel like I can't do anything. I'm gonna try and get changed and then I'm gonna go to Dan's house and we're gonna watch a few films, but I'm blatantly just gonna fall asleep as soon as I get there. So yeah, what can you do? Hello everybody, so it's the next day and um, I'm wearing my t-shirt from the race, woohoo, and I'm just at Dan's house and we're making some lunch. We're trying to make this thing, four ingredient chicken breast thing, it's on Buzzfeed and it looks really good. So we're trying to make that with like double the amount of chicken because we are hungry people. So yeah, that's what we're trying to make anyway. So far, this is what we have. I think it looks all right. I've also got some salami and some chorizo to go on top with some cheese. And then I'm also gonna try and make 
a carb free cake. So I've got like almond flour, butter, cocoa powder, and then eggs and sweetener. I'm gonna try my best to make something that tastes good because if you're on a low carb diet, it's really hard to get sweet things into your diet and I am, I've got a really big sweet tooth so I'm missing like chocolate and cake and stuff so I'm going to try my best to make something that's a little bit sweeter but god knows how it's going to go because I've tried and failed at making pancakes and stuff but who knows this might be the time where I actually make something that tastes slightly better. How's the chicken going? Alright. It's a good job we've that's, got that big bottle. That's a lot of pesto. It's not, they absolutely load it on in that video. Yeah they do. Mm, I love pasta anyway, so it doesn't matter. Okay. I'm hungry. Okay, so here is the finished bait. It looks a bit burnt, but it doesn't in real life. I promise. It's, it's just the top of the cheese. Yeah, the cheese is a bit burnt, but I like it crispy anyway. All right, let's see if it's actually cooked through. Oh my God, that looks really good. Oh, yes. Look at that. I'm really pleased with that. It's good, isn't it? Yeah, so good. Should we have it with anything or should we just have it on its own? Be alright on its own. Yeah. I'm so excited to try this. Oh my god. Mm. We're good. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Right, so we finished the cake batter and this is what it looks like. To me it looks a bit thick, but we've added like extra milk and oil, so hopefully it'll just bake and look alright. So we made the cupcakes and they were a massive fail in my opinion. They just didn't taste that good. They were really like a bit bitter and bland. And I think if you're gonna make cupcakes, you've gotta go all out, otherwise there's just not really much point. So I'll carry on looking for a low carb sweet snack. But in the meantime, I'll just have to stick to bacon and eggs and cheese. Fab. Um, we are just going to watch The Hunted, not The Hunted, it's just called Hunted, which is a good show. It's about like people who have to um, run away from like top detectives and stuff um, and we've watched it from the beginning, haven't we? So it's good, we like it. Um, and then we're going to watch the rest of Big with Tom Hanks because I haven't actually seen that before. And. I really like Tom, Han Tom Hanks as an actor. I think what we're gonna do, because we really struggle to find a film that one of us has seen and the other one hasn't, or that we both haven't seen, we're gonna like pick an actor and then watch all of their films. So we think we're gonna go for Tom Hanks, don't we? We do. So um, he's our first choice. And then do it that way, because we literally, it, we, have, we take about sometimes like half an hour to choose a film and sometimes we don't even end up choosing one because we can't find one that we both haven't seen so we're halfway through big and we're going to watch the rest of that and then i think we're going to watch didn't we have another film that we were going to watch after big uh the riot club or whatever it's called the riot club about oxford university like a secret club or something um so i think that's on the agenda as well so if you have any like film suggestions that you think that i <laughs> might like um let me know in the comments because I'm lit we're literally always on the lookout for new films because it's it's getting a bit of a joke now. We, we've seen so many of them between us that we have to like look on lists online and stuff and every time we do find a list we've like seen them all so it's getting really difficult so we need like I'd quite like to watch like independent films like ones that not a lot of people have heard of but are like really good acting and stuff That'd be good. Shush, please, car. So yeah, that's what I need. We need we need a list of films that neither of us neither of us have seen, which is going to be very hard to come by, I think. 